although pregnancy is mostly related to joy, it is not the reality for all women. At least 1 out of 10 pregnant women suffers from phases of depression. Dr. Shelley Batra tells us more about how to deal with depression in pregnancy. Depression is a terrible thing to happen. And the reason is this. There are so many cases of subclinical depression in the country, in the world. And women are getting pregnant without even realizing they are suffering from depression. Depression is directly related to an adverse pregnancy outcome. There are cases who start pregnancy with depression, they don't know about it, and because they've got pregnant, they have no family support, maybe that is the reason for the depression, and then they are the ones who will neither come for the antenatal checkup in time, nor get the tests in time, nor take the medicines in time. Someone who's depressed, who's lying in bed, not eating well, not sleeping well, just lying down. She does not have the will to get up and take care of herself, take care of her body and take care of her pregnancy. She doesn't have the initiative and she doesn't have the sense of responsibility that a woman in pregnancy should have. Depressed women are more prone to anemia they are more prone to severe back problems in pregnancy. They are more prone to local infections such as urinary tract infection and infections of the genital tract during pregnancy. And if by chance they get a, a, a complication that could happen to anybody, well, the, the outcome is terrible. Imagine a woman who's got gestational diabetes and she's pregnant. She will not get the insulin done. She'll take a look at the syringe and the depression will become worse. And when the high blood sugar becomes even higher, there can be a miscarriage, the baby can be malformed, there can be premature labor, there can be, well, excessive fluid inside, there can be growth defects in the baby, there can be any kind of complication. Depression can lead to manifold problems during pregnancy, during labor, and after delivery as well. Depressed woman in labor has a higher chance of having a cesarean section. And a woman who's depressed will never feed the baby. So the postpartum period is extremely depressing for the rest of the family, including the husband. The baby is not taken care of. Either there is no lactation or there is excessive lactation and the breasts are bursting with milk and the mother's not feeding the baby and she's getting a breast abscess and then that has to be treated. So what I feel is that pregnancy is such an occasion where there should be a very good family support. And any woman who's got pregnancy and she's showing signs of depression should be given treatment. There is absolutely no risk in giving antidepressants in pregnancy, especially after the three months. The first three months are over. So proper medication, proper counseling and family support are essential and if these are done properly, there is no reason why pregnancy should not take place as normal. For more videos related to pregnancy and health, log on to onlymyhealth.com.